20 minutes of nonstop news begins with a fight involving dozens of students that turns deadly and it all unfolded on a local playground. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Jacqueline London and I'm Tracy Davidson. We've learned more about what led up to this deadly shooting after the story first broke last night at 11. NBC 10 Stephen Fisher joins us now live from Reading with the new details. Stephen, what have we learned? Yeah, well, Tracy, police tell us about 15 to 30 kids arrived here at the playground, all between the ages of 16 and 18 years old for the purpose of a fight. They say one thing led to another. Shots were fired. Four people were wounded, including an 18-year-old boy who was killed. Police say teenagers turned this Reading playground into a crime scene Monday night. There were individuals, we believe, all within the age range of 16 to 18. Um, who came to the playground here from multiple municipalities uh, to engage in a fight. Um, and then uh, gunshots uh, started to be fired uh, by multiple individuals, we believe, in the park. Four people were hit by the hail of gunfire, including 18-year-old Amir Bibbs, who was killed. Then I saw the cops coming in. I saw the cops. I was, uh oh something happened back there. It never happens back here. It's a nice, quiet neighborhood. Today, police carefully walk through the park over and over, searching for evidence. Even underneath nearby parked cars, they say there are lots of witnesses and video evidence to comb through. But at this time, they did not say if any weapons were recovered or give any details about potential suspects. The Governor Mifflin School District said four of their students were involved in this incident. They moved to virtual learning for all middle and high school students out of abundance of caution. We should not live like this. OK, so it's time for us to take our community back into our hands. Reading Mayor Eddie Moran announced a call for action and the allocation of one million dollars of funding to be utilized to deter gun violence. To make sure that we educate our youth that that's a better way. So I am going to ask each and every one of my community members, leaders, faith based organization. So let's sit down. Let's talk. Let's see what kind of pledge you can commit to to battle this gun violence. And the three other victims who were injured in this shooting, they were taken to the hospital. Police telling, telling us today they are all expected to be okay. Also, there's a couple homes right around here. One of them was hit by gunfire. Fortunately, nobody inside there was injured. We're live in Reading. Stephen Fisher, NBC 10 News.